Hi, this is Vinod Suman. Today I am going to start uh, one new topic that is called the Lure Engine and it is a Java based Lure Engine. What is this and uh, what is the use of this? Let me first understand this. Suppose you code something, you make a project and in your project a lot of conditions are there, a lot of conditions if is, is there, a lot of business logic are there based upon the conditions. So you deploy the code, code went to the production. Now if you want to change the condition, what you have to do? You have to again change in the code and that change must be done by some developer who has knowledge for that code and all the logic. Then again you have to deploy the code, again put into the production. So this is not able to work where your conditions always going to change means if you want to or if you have the dynamic conditions then this kind of uh, architecture will not work so you have to separate out your conditions away from the code means code should be different or different side and the conditions should be different side means if you change the if you want to change the condition it should not impact on the code side or any person who has knowledge for the business logic they could able to change the conditions rules should not depend upon the developers should not depend upon to deploy the code means you have to separate the business logic out from your code base how you will do that that is called the rule engine so uh, let me uh, go the next slide here uh, as I mentioned that rule is a set of if then is business logic and if you want to make out these uh, conditions from your uh, code then uh, you should use the rule engine. Advantage of the rule engine first is the declarative programming means rule system can be changed without change the business logic code without change the code. So, the, the same sentence logic and data should be separate but the scalability if you want to build up the very complex conditions you can do it without touching the code and the code is important all your code or your rules should be in one place that is called the centralized knowledge so that's why this rule engine is very famous and very useful if you want to develop this kind of uh, things let me give one example have you uh, you must have heard that when the Amazon or Flipkart sales come, the product price is changing, the discounts change. Any Paytm, any Google Pay, they used to give the offer depend upon the festival. So see how they are flexible. They can change the business logic immediate over the night. They can change the business logic. So it is possible. That is possible through the rule engine. So the code is separate and the this if use part is separate. How we can do that? I am going to demonstrate. There are many uh, open source rule engine out there in the market. One is the drones, open air tablet, and EG rules. But this uh, video I have set up for the drones, so I will um, give the um, demo on the drones. This is the open source project written in the Java and uh, by the Red Hat and uh, JBoss cooperation and based upon the business logic integration platform that is also called the BLIP. They have the two main things, the two main part of the this rule engine. One is the authoring and second is the runtime. Authoring means whatever the uh, your uh, conditions rules are there and second is that how you going to occupy those things in the memory runtime. So what happened if you want to see the uh, architecture on the very high so we have the rules whatever the rules you have let me give one example if if you pay through the ptm i will give the 10 percent discount if you pay through the phone pay i will give the 20 percent discount if you are paying the ptm and this is the festival time then i can give the 20 percent this kind of things is the rule where it will apply that part is called the facts suppose the payment if you are making payment to the payment gateway. So this fact is the payment. So on fact, 
if this who is acquired, so some action should be there. That action inside the rule engine, and that is also called the working engine. You must have heard about the database connection or the Hibernate session. That kind of setup is there in the rules. So they will configure all the rules in one shot. Then your code becomes very fast to determine the action. So in this video, I will first show the first, first example in the Eclipse how to uh, execute the small code in the do, uh, for the duels with the help of the uh, Eclipse. So let me open the... Uh, so in, uh, in this uh, series, uh, first demo I will show setup and the first program. Then I will show the KIE session, compare absolute state process and so let me start the Eclipse. As you can see that I have to start the Eclipse. I'm going to start from scratch. So create one project, uh, Maven project. And artifact name, uh, you can give the demo and group id anything suppose i will give him the com dot below if you create the one project you can see here now and we have to add the dependency the good thing is that only one dependency is sufficient to execute the rules so let me open the com dot xml once it open, then we have to add the dependence. So let me add one dependency. And I no need, do not need the JNU for time being. So as you can see that I have just uh, add one dependency. Uh, 6.0.1 file. So uh, now uh, we no need to the test project because I have data dependency. You can also remove it. No use for us. And now you have to go and create the some fact means on what is your fact where you want to apply this rule. So take one example. The same example what I explained uh, something that. Payment gateway. If you pay through the uh, Paytm, I want to give this discount. If you give pay through the phone pay or the Google Pay, I give the some different discount. So let me uh, create one Pojo payment. Okay. Attributes I took it, get the setter getter. That's it. Now the time came, we have to uh, add the rules. How we do that? So first go in the main, create one folder, the name of resources. And here you have to add the suppose I'm giving the name of a dot DRF. This is the extension for the rules. I have already uh, written somewhere. So let me just copy paste. Then I will explain it. So what I done here. So first, this is the POJO. Our Pojo, take the package name, copy here, go to the here, and put your package name here. So it should be from this. Uh, now, uh, payment offer is there, and this is the my first one, and that is the role name. You can give any name. So, my condition is that if the channel is the Paytm, then set the discount of the 17%. If the channel is the phone, Give the 20%. If this is the uh, Google Pay, is 
is just like that means um, if you write the java code if you say if element offer dot get channel name equals atm then set payment offer dot set discount is the kind of code so instead of this we will try this way so if the channel is the paytm channel is my attribute here if you see my channel attribute and we are setting the discount here easy simple this is the first code so now you have to add some test code with what you want so For that you have to first create the uh, brick white okay. let me so the code here, then, then I will explain you. So if you can see, uh, let me import all the dependencies. I just see the control C O, then yeah. So first what I did, uh, I create the builder, package builder, uh, by default it took all the dependencies. So he is saying that I think you have to put the try catch to put the, okay. So first point is the package builder, you have to create the builder and you have to give on the path, where is the path, I kept in the resource, so if you take the offer dot DRL, then you have to create the resource system, these are the, um, is the fixed code uh, to get this uh, uh, offers uh, content inside the, uh, inside the rule base. So finally, uh, if you see that uh, I got the working memory, this is the main thing, how we got that? We got the rule base, so we create the rule base and uh, depends upon the rule base factory and we create that and you have to pass the rule package. And rule package is nothing, whatever the, it's really depend from the offering or the So this is the fixed code for that. Now we have the working memory, this is the important part. And our fact is the payment. So I create one uh, object of the payment and I'm saying, setting the channel, channel is the Paytm. Okay, and I'm putting this, if you can see, uh, this payment offer, I'm putting inside the working memory. And then I say, fire all the rules. Whatever the rules are there, it will fire that. If you save the execute. It's very simple code. You have to call this method from here. You have to get the catch and now have to do the same code. Good, not is working fine. Now you can see that, see, uh, output, the check, uh, cash back of this Paytm is the 17. How it got the Paytm is equal to 17? Means now, I just put the 
China name is the Paytm. I have not given the discount. How it got the discount? It went to the offer and see matching the Paytm, they put the 70. So now if suppose I uh, set the phone pay, or do one thing, or make the new payment, get away, and, uh, Insert the both or oh, earn it. So, so the uh, phone pay. So for the phone pay, it will it, it is the um, uh, twenty percent. It was on the on, on the phone pay. That's how it uh, works. Let me pause the video for it. Okay. So if you can see only one output, because why this is one output? Because this this uh, system dot point is overlapping for the previous one. So it will do one thing: uh, copy this complete part two times if you want to see. So now and remove the phone tip from here. So what I did actually, I. Create one uh, ATM object and put into the um, uh, talking memory. Then I create one phone pay. Then I create the phone pay. Then I again put in insert into the working memory and fire all the nodes. Now you see the output. What should we get it now? So I should get the two output. Right, one for the Paytm, one for the phone pay. So now, this for the Paytm 70%, phone pay is 20%. How it works? So now if you want to change the offer, you no need to change anything, you can put that 70 to 27 or 20 to 25 for the phone pay. Go and execute the same command. Without changing the code, now you can see how the rules is going to change now. You can see the 75 and 25. How it works actually. So uh, this is the one basic uh, uh, use um, video on the rules how we can uh, set up environment. And the next uh, video uh, we will see on uh, same thing. Uh, if you have the many more logic, how you can do that to the uh, Kai session. So thank you very much for this video, and uh, uh, we see you in the next video.